This is an example of a particularly horrible disease. Um, it goes by several names. Uh, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis or usual interstitial pneumonia. Um, but the important thing to know about this disease is that it has a very, very dismal prognosis of about three years from the time of diagnosis, uh, which is pretty horrible. And we'll start at low power, and you can see that this is this is lung, believe it or not, a uh, very fibrotic lung. And one of the defining features of this disease is what we call temporal heterogeneity. And what this means is that different areas of the lung are being affected at different times. And so the field that you see here, you can tell that there's areas here where it's completely fibrotic and the, this presumably would have been something that was affected a long time ago but if you look around you'll see areas of relatively normal lung now there is a little bit of thickening uh, but compared to other areas it looks okay and so this is what we would call the temporal heterogeneity so here you have relatively normal alveolar spaces uh, flanked by these fibrotic areas and if you go and you look around within these fibrotic areas, especially at the edges, what you'll notice is that they often have these collections of fibroblasts, and we call those fibroblastic foci. And these areas that you can see here, uh, these are the fibro fibroblasts that are coming in and laying down all of this collagen, uh, causing all of the fibrosis. And so this is a form of that exaggerated tissue repair response that we talked about back in chronic inflammation uh, that is out of control in these patients that leads to basically remodeling of the lung and so what happens in that case is you end up with what we would call honeycomb lung and this is an example of a different slide a uh, different patient uh, but has the same disease and this is much more advanced and you can see that the alveolar spaces in this patient again temporal heterogeneity uh, showing that some of them are okay, such as here. Uh, but in other areas, the lung has been completely remodeled to what we would call honeycomb lung, where the alveolar spaces are large and cystically dilated and surrounded by these areas of dense fibrosis. And so this is the end stage of what uh, UIP or IPF would actually look like. So in summary, uh, UIP or IPF shows kind of a variable course, uh, rapidly progresses, and ends up in what we would call honeycomb lung.